My name is Xavier, and welcome back to the episode where we actually build the base. Good lord. Uh, first, we've got to go deal with these raiders, but I have spent, I think, something like three to four hours planning out the base. Here's a quick, very quick sneak peek of what it might look like uh, in the not-too-distant future. Bazaar! Many, many, many things, which I'll explain uh, in the not too not too distant part of this episode. But before we get into that, uh, I've done a number of things here. God, I can't wait for this base. It's going to be incredible. The idea is we're going to have it open on the top and the bottom. And so the, that's like a road that goes right through the base. I'm going to, I installed, um, I reinstalled the fertile, what is it called? Not fertile, soil. Uh, whatever the soil thing is that I can move the, the dirt around in the ground so I can make this an actual legitimate road because otherwise you can't build dirt over sand and whatnot. So we're going to fix that. Make this a nice dirt road all the way through. It's probably going to take a long time. Uh, I'm not going to use that, though, to move fertile dirt around. If you Tilled soil, that's the name of it. Uh, I got six other mods in addition, uh, but let's go through them really quick if I can remember what all of them are. Number one, of course, is Rim Kia because we're going to start designing things like it was our business. I think if I go to, where the heck is it, research? Where is Rim Kia? There's a bunch of different things in here. Uh, here it is, Rim Kia. Uh, we got Millennial Line, Rustica, that's what I want to do. Oh, all the Rustic stuff's going to look incredible. I also got this Medica add-ons, which just adds a couple of really small things for um, thematical purposes in the medical rooms, which we don't actually have a medical room right now, but fear not, I've got one designed. Can't wait to show it off and build it all this episode. We're going to get so much stuff done with all these people as soon as we crush this raid. Uh, so let's see. I also got this hay, what is it, uh, where is it, production? No. Furniture, there we go. So, animal straw bed, that's what it's called. So I can put down some cool little beds for all the animals in the soon-to-be stables. Uh, if I install the, whatever the animal mod is that you can name the animals, uh, I could assign them individual beds. I used that mod a long time ago and it was great, except that it broke caravanning, so I uninstalled it and I got scared of using it ever again. Probably it's fixed by now, though. And what else did I get? I got seven, seven, I know, they're all in the description. Oh, World War II, or no, World War I Graves is a pretty interesting one. So they look almost identical, but um, once you put them down, they have these nice little headstones, which I think will look very thematic, so I want to pull out some of these. Additionally, I finally installed the Mass Graves, uh, which people have been asking me to get for hundreds of years, so we've got that thing. I may do a little annex here. And then we'll put like a, a kind of a mass grave over there in the side, maybe with some stuff. Lots of fun designy times. Speaking of fun designy times. Speaking of fun designy times. Do you guys remember? If I can just move Cinnamon two seconds here. Do you guys remember the fun, amazing times when Cinnamon immediately murdered a jailbreak so fast we couldn't even see it and someone had to hunt a pixel uh, to even discern what was going on? Come on, Cinnamon. Oh, what the? What the hell just? Additionally, do you remember the time that Cinnamon missed whatever it was, some some doofus out in the middle of nowhere or hit the rhinoceros and sent it on a raging, like, nonsensical frigging spree of hilarity? All right, well, here we go, I suppose. Cinnamon can't quite hit the rhino, but she can go for Hay House. Okay. Oh! She just missed Hay House and she hit the rhinoceros. You're the best. You just can't lose. The thing is, if you're anything like me, you forget these things all the time. You forget everything, including your name. But now, now you can no longer forget because every time you look in the mirror, you can see and remember the glorious days of cinnamon with my very first shirt. Yes, it has finally come to pass. I am a shirt merchant, by which I mean I'm not really a shirt merchant, but I need to find some way uh, to make this making video sustainable, and I'm hoping shirts is the ticket. So for those of you who are interested, open the description down below. You should see a link uh, to where you can buy a shirt if you want to or not. Very much appreciate those of you who do. It's kind of like uh, Patreon, except you actually get something for the money uh, that you're spending, uh, which is a really cool cinnamon shirt, I hope. I really hope. I don't know. Let me know if you uh, like it in the comments down below. Anyways, I had a lot of fun designing the shirt, and hopefully you guys uh, might like it, but we'll see. We need to go do the raid, and then we're gonna build this base. I can't wait to show off all the cool little things I've designed. I've tried to make it very organic, but that being said, oh, another thing is I haven't actually played in a week. I'm way behind on episodes. In fact, as I record this, the episode's supposed to come out in three hours, so... 
Yeah, it's going to be really rough to get it all done and uploaded. I may be a little bit falling behind for a few days. I just haven't been... Um, uh, I've been sleeping like four and five hours, and it's really insanely difficult to have your job be entertaining and be happy while you do it when you sleep four hours a night. Uh, uh, so, are these guys actually attacking? Let's go see. Marsh 27 people of the Marshall Service. No, they're just hanging out down there, so we've got a little bit of time. That being said, some people were telling me um, I have some issues here. What were the issues? We got no loadout on GOGs. That does not swear the god i got too many colonists i almost kind of hope a couple of them die this is out of control gogs need some kind of gun all right anyone else before we jump in here uh, assign gogs there we go let's give gogs uh i don't even know what kind of guns i have um let's see i don't actually know what oh we have a superior sawn off up there let's go for that then well oh right she was using that before absolutely sawn off Anyone else missing something? Son off, son off. Good, 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 good. Nothing on Patrick, but he can't use a gun. So, nothing on Anaria. Oh, thank you, comments, very much. Very much. Ooh, and she's a good shooter. It looks like we have another son off. No, wait, that's a coat. That's a three crown. That's a three crown. All right, we don't have any son offs. Never mind. I got the uh, image. I got the image messed up. Let's do double um, three crowns then on both of them. If I can find them. So, Anaria, you're going to go forward to the coach triple. And Gogs also coach triple. Beautiful. Are both of you busy? No, not so much. Hopefully you guys go do that right now. Let's let's click on you really quick. Can't do taming because of full inventory. Yes, we're going to build some um, per pocket suggestion. We're going to build some backpacks, hopefully this episode. So Gogs is good. Where the heck is Anaria? Who's trying to do taming down here? Has. His inventory is too full. Let's take a look here uh, on his inventory. Normally I don't play with pause at this point, but because I haven't played for a week... And I'm a little bit out of uh, touch here. Oh, I also need to make the polar bear allowed over here to go eat the corpse. Actually, there's not going to be any corpses anymore because we're going to put him in a mass grave. Never mind. Um, now I'm confused as to what I was doing two seconds ago. I was checking out has... Uh, let's see. He's got corn forced. He's got rice forced. All these things are getting forced and it's failing because they can't do it. He can't hold anything. Just need to make him a backpack. That's all. That's all. So we'll let that go. Anaria, we want to make sure... Oh, God. They're beginning their assault. No. Oh, God. Okay, everybody up here except Anaria. And who was the other one? Gogs. Both of you need to go get your guns. Let's get an alert. Let's get down here. Okay, actually, it's the wrong button. Let's get down here. Woo! <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Gogs is going to get a gun, I think. I don't know where Anaria is exactly. Over here, they're going to taking herbal medicine. Anaria, okay, I guess that's part of your loadout, so fine. But here they come. This is going to be exciting, I think. Absolutely exciting. Let's make sure our long-range characters now. Uh, let's see. Plockets, you've got some kind of long-range gun. We'll get you down there. Uh, Sage, probably better if you came down here. Bobble, you can swing down in this direction. Who else? Oh, yes. Cinnamon. Yes. Cinnamon. Yes. Let's actually put our... Don't try to arrest Haz. Sounds like something Cinnamon would do. Can we get down there with Sage as well? Oh, nice. This is going to be super exciting. Come on, guys. Come over here. Say hello. Why are they all going the wrong way? The doors are sh Oh, my animals! It's got all the animals inside Rage's lockup. Oh, I always forget about that. They're probably all out here. Yep, that's, they are all out there, and that's what's happening. You know what I'm going to do? I might run out and... No, no, we're fine. Everything's fine. They're splitting up pretty heavily, but I like this. Oh, watch this, guys. Poor Nate. Poor Nate. Hey, Nate, what's up? <laughs> Look at the game lag. <laughs> How is he alive still? Oh, boy. Someone just got their head blown off. This is insanity! Victor, beautiful. Come on, guys. Come at me. No, my alpacas are getting wrecked out here. Oh, boy. This is incredible. Take them down, friends. All of them. All of them. Wipe them out. All of them. Oh, my frigging corpse-a-thon. I'm going to get rid of this wall, by the way, in the future. Looks like we actually have taken a couple of shots here somehow. What the heck is happening? Take that, marshals. <laughs> This is insane. This is insane. Okay, really quick though, Anaria. Oh, she's getting chased down. Did she get her son off? She actually did. Let's run her down here. Gogs, what happened to you? You're still going to equip your um, cro oh, triple crown. Wait a minute. Anaria didn't get... Yeah, she got the triple crown. All right, we're good. Oh, never mind. They're fleeing. They, oh, <laughs> they were trying to flee. Nice! All right, whole colony off of alert. Well, that worked out pretty freaking insanely. Now, that was a little bit too easy because they're just walking into a kill zone, so we're going to fix that uh, in the not-too-distant future. 
Lots of stuff to do here. It has, how did you do as far as your wounds? A few gunshots, beautiful. Torden, you got a gunshot, but not too bad. Bobaloo, right ear, got a, a little pellet there. Look at that, he got bruised. He got bruised in his shoulder. Tremaine needs to learn a thing or two from uh, Bobaloo's apparent shoulder, like, infallibility. Nice, we got our fires taken care of. Should I even bother to try to capture some of these people? Well, we still have Laughlin in there, and I'm over the top on people, to be honest, so I kind of... Unless somebody's like a master chef. Oh, you know what we could really do is strip off this Devil Strand gentleman's pants, superior long coat, and also the martial badge. Hell yes. I will definitely take that. Let's take a look at the characters here really quick. Capable of dumb labor, fast learner, blah. Blah. Over here, just no medicine, art, nah. Look at this pile of frigging people. It's insane. This is a good character, though. Cook, grow, shoot. However, not something I'm super interested in. Although, should I be? Shattered rib. Mm. file brave. Child spy. The growing, though. The growing. The growing would be nice, but I don't know if we really need it. Gourmet, heavy sleeper, fast learner, who's a miner. Eh, not so much. Not so much. Let's keep looking around here. Heavy sleeper. Cooking! Eight! Cowardly brawler. Okay, but no good at shooting. At this point, I'm going to be a little bit picky because uh, the game's starting to lag. Oh, speaking of the game lagging. Oh. Visitors have arrived. Uh, no. Sorry, we're going to send them away because right now we're, we're living here. And my goal for this episode is actually to move. Um, I'm going to build a lot of houses, get everyone their own little room and whatnot. But isn't there a mod that I have for... Medical, let's see, manager, medical, or strict assign animals, wildlife, research, factions, history, world. Runtime GC, there we go, that's what I'm looking for. Let's clean up the world ponds. Ponds alive, 88 to 30, ponds dead, 170, I don't know what this, ponds removed, seven, there are still 58 ponds to remove. Press it again to do a complete cleanup. There you go, ponds removed, 58. Looks good, hopefully that cleans some stuff up. Let's see, clean up, avoid grids. I don't know what this is, we'll just do both. Okay. Uh, additional cleanup. Animal family tail in. Remove battle log entries. I could probably do that because we don't necessarily... The, the, the battles haven't been that interesting um, this episode, I suppose. We'll remove whatever that other thing was. Let's fix faction relationships, I guess. It says they're fixed. And lastly, faction leaders. Zero fixed. Can I reclaim memory, I guess? All right, well, hopefully that takes care of all my issues. I don't know if it will or not. Let's grab some of these superior guns, though. Looking good. Hey, everybody. Thank you very much. Let's haul these uh, um, important things early. You know what I would love to do is have Cinnamon come down here and forswear that deputy's badge. Absolutely. I like how they actually threw their beer over the fence. They were so scared. They're like, here, take it. Let me live. Let me live. But we didn't let them live. Ooh, here's somebody. Neurotic cook. A neurotic cook grower, but incapable of shooting. VR designer. Wow, this guy actually has got no, well, blood loss. Although, is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. You might think another one of those things where they died, like, as I'm looking at them. Ooh, sorry, death in four hours. Looks like you, friend, might just have a little bit of that there. Oh, no, that's not Devil Strand. Superior Deputy's Marshal Badge, though. Nah, I think we're all right. I don't want to strip him just for that. I wish he could take individual items, but we'll leave that alone for now. All right, so this is looking pretty good. Number one, let's go build a mass grave, shall we? Let's go build a mass grave. Everyone's been asking me to do it forever. We're finally going to do it. It takes a lot of production, though. It's like as big as one of those stone um, workbenches. It's under miscellaneous. Another thing I need to actually do... I want to get rid of all of these graves, unfortunately. Because they're not the World War I ones. Let's deconstruct those. Let's come over here and go to a... I'm not sure. Should I put it inside here? I mean, that would work, but it would look a little bit weird. I'm thinking of doing an offshoot... Maybe, like, I could put it right here and we could build a fence around it. Yeah, I want to do that. I just want to have something feel organic and not so, like, rigid here. So, if I'm going to put it here, let's let's make a fence around this cactus. One, two, three. Uh, and then the mass grave itself is... Oh, I also got corner mods, so I can put little corners in, which is going to be pretty cool. So, if, let's see. If we have a space, mass grave, mass grave, space, and then it would be, like, right here. So, yeah, we'll do that. And I think... Let's see, space, one, two, space, and then we can have the wall here. Okay, looks good. And then this, 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 we can deconstruct. And then if I can click on the wooden palisade there, we'll deconstruct that as well. Awesome. <clears throat> now, is it a heat wave or something? Why is everybody so hot? 
It's not. It's just outdoors. Whoa, we got no. Oh no, we got food. Never mind. Whoo, calm down. Calm, calm. Everybody, calm down. I'm super excited right now. Whenever I get into RimWorld, I just get excited, like beyond, just beyond reason. Especially when I can play finally. I've been having such difficulty with this series um, because I want to play it just endlessly, but I can't get too far ahead. So normally I'll start out uh, with the campaign and I'll, I'll only stay like maybe two or three episodes ahead. And then later on, as I feel like I know what's going on and what I need to do, I might get a little bit more. Worst case, I might get like six episodes ahead. Uh, but right now I'm zero, so I can play for days. Well, not really. I could probably do a whole week's worth of episodes in a single day if my voice would handle it. Which, you know, that's going to be actually a big, a big concern. So what are we lacking here? Wood, 1,221. I'm up here hitting this um, cigarette, apparently. Is that going to be an issue? As far as, what is my mood? Or rather, am I going to be an issue? Not is the cigarette going to be an issue? I do remember in the last episode, I was having issues with like constantly being in bad moods. Nicotine tolerance, high on nicotine, nicotine dependence, heat stroke initial. If there was a heat wave, it's gone. So I think we're fine on that. I did lose my patty hat though, which is unfortunate. Wow, look at this harvesting going too. That's fantastic. Things are just getting done. I'm not even playing the game. Things are just happening. This is cool. This is absolutely cool. Come on, Shug. If you want to get that done for us really quick, we can throw in some miscellaneous World War II grave. There we go. One, two, three, four. Now, I kind of forget. Did I have one up, Peter? I think I did. But I don't remember if I put it in like this or not. Or um, You know what? Let me think. Maybe I put it here. Maybe I rotated it like this? On either side? No. Hmm. I don't know what I did. I guess I could put them here and here. The nah, I don't like that at all. Let's, let's delete that. I don't know what I had here, unfortunately. Was that there? No. Here? Oh, was it like that? That, that might that have been it. Let's do this. Even if that's not it, I think it's fine. I think we'll have to move Courtney to a better grave in a minute here. Oh, this actually won't fit because I need I, I want to leave the cactus. So I kind of need to expand this down and to the left one entirely. All right, so let's go down an additional one. Assuming, um, I guess I could do another another one. I'm not even sure. So space one, two. I don't know. Maybe I did it. I just did one more than I need to. No, that's actually perfect. That's what I want, and I want to put it right there. So let's grab this and this. We will cut you guys out, and then we're good. Gotta expand the graveyard, friends. Gotta expand the graveyard. Now, what should I start working on? Well, for one, let's just jump ahead to the morning, and we'll see what everyone gets up to doing here. I know there's still actually a decent amount of hauling. We've got to get all these bricks over here. Uh, I probably need to micromanage all of the work schedules, but look how complicated this nonsense is, huh? I'll probably do that off camera because I'm going to spend like 30 minutes thinking about it. Ooh, here comes an eclipse. I don't know why I got so excited about that, but I keep hitting B like it was surviving Mars to go to the build menu. Mass grave right there. Looking good. Nice. Bobaloo taken care of. No infections that I can see anywhere. Still can't do taming because of the full inventory. All right, let's go set that up then. Let's come over here, uh, make a duster, cowboy hat, button-down shirt. I don't even have one in here. Let's go storage vest, satchel, or tribal backpack. I don't know. Let's let's put in a satchel and a tribal backpack and compare them. I feel like I've done this before. 40 cloth for a satchel. Bulk 3, storing all kinds of items. Mass 1. Work to make. It doesn't actually tell me what it does. So if it's 40 cloth, I'm assuming it's better than a tribal backpack. So... Let's do this until X. We're going to make the X actually 2, and we're going to move that to the very top of the list. That should be pretty quick, and it just requires cloth, and I think we're going to have a bunch of that. Good. We can just drop that on the floor when we're done with it. I'm fine with that. If we overbuild those, then fine, but I do want those getting done, like, right away. Next up, do we have someone who's going to craft? No, that's actually tailoring. So, do we have someone who's going to tailor? Well, we got a lot of people on crafting, but no one's set to tailoring exclusively. So, we got a 3 there. We got 9 on a Patrick. Um, Nakiri's got a 5, and Caranthia's got an 8. So Caranthia should probably be a little bit higher, or Patrick. Well, not sure which one. 
Both of them can do growing, but you know what? Karanthia really loves the growing, so let's have Patrick do it then. We'll bump it up to a five, and we'll put his crafting actually back to a five, so we have a one person always tailoring ahead of everything else. May even bump that up to a four, to be honest. Looks good. Now, I know we're going to have this spam coming up here from Haz repeatedly until he gets a satchel. So, I don't see any... Uh... Yeah, it's just going to be annoying. But I don't really know what to do about it other than... Ooh, did, did that actually already get built? That got built really fast, amazingly. Yeah, see, we got these, like, headstones here now. However, however, these were not supposed to be used for random people, guys. These are supposed to be... Um... Can we copy the settings of this one? No. All right, let's come over here. Go to the storage. This is supposed to be human of the colonist variety only. Looks good. Looks good. And let's copy that, grab you and you, and we will paste that. This one I'm going to have to open up. But see how much... That's actually from the side, which is unfortunate, but it looks like a cooler kind of... If you do it from the top down, this one will look really cool, which makes me actually want to reallocate the entire grave here. Let's open this up. So this mass grave, we actually want the settings here to not allow... Oh, it actually it's set up like that. So a rotten stranger human corpse is awesome. You guys are working on that like champs. Once this is open, we're going to paste the settings in that. Let's make sure we do it right now. Good. And there we go. Make sure we just keep pasting in these settings. Now, these things... Oh, wow. That got taken care of. Only, you can only have 20... That's nowhere near enough. I thought it was 200, someone said. Well, yeah, so I'm going to have to have 10,000 mass graves. All right, this is a foolish idea then, because that's not going to work out. I guess there's different mass graves, but if there are, I don't see them here. So, oh, well, we'll just have one, I suppose, and we'll call it themed. Um, maybe I want to rotate these guys a little bit just for... Uh, make it look the way that I want a little bit better. Well, it's going to be kind of... Ooh, here, here we go. This is what I do. Yeah, let's definitely rotate this a little bit. Put one here, one there. I think we're going to actually delete all of these guys now. Unfortunately. I'm just going to rotate it so we can see the headstones. Or maybe I won't delete this one. And I'll have, like, two different kinds of... Uh, I'll have, like, the top will be like this. And the bottom will be the other direction. Did I leave two spaces or one? I think it was... Wow, that's a lot of grays. But I think I wanted to leave that area open. So let's do something like this. Looks good. And I deleted this one even though I want that one, but alas. There! I think that's pretty good. Just a little bit of asymmetry, I suppose. Yes! And now, apparently the Palisades come over it and make it look ugly. I just can't win, friends! I just can't win. <laughs> oh my god. No, Torted, no! Why would you do that? No! Oh no. This is such a nightmare. I gotta make sure- it's, they, they immediately go to bury it because they're set on high priority for burying. Boy, do I wish I didn't make that mass grave. Okay, let's make him over here to paste the settings beautiful. Yeah, this is totally not worth the mass grave in the slightest. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's alright, I suppose. It gives a little character. I kind of wish I had moved it. I could have built another one if I kept moving this thing down. We could have two of them. But honestly, once they're full, then they're going to be full for the rest of forever. So uh, come over here and paste that. And Wait a minute. Oh, I, I did just paste it. All right. I just want to make sure we get all this done so these don't get filled up with the wrong guys. I have to fix that taming job spam. We'll do it soon. As soon as Patrick gets on... Uh Making some satchels. Yeah, I see Caranthia's got a satchel here, which is nice. What's Caranthia doing? Visiting a grave of Courtney, isn't that nice? I think we should actually move Courtney's grave. Caranthia, while you're there, you want to open that up, please? Okay, let's come over here. We'll paste that. Settings, beautiful. Nice. This is getting done. Paste some settings. 
Okay, okay, now, hold on, Haz. Before you do anything, let's come over here and assign this one. I don't think we actually can do this, exactly. Because Courtney's no longer here as a colonist, so... We can't assign the colonists. Can I forbid these? No. How can I get Courtney over there? I don't actually think that I can, to be honest. Let's deconstruct that one. Has? Just pick... No, has no. Has no. No, has no! Oh, God. Um... Okay, this is actually really frustrating. Let's, let's do that. Click on- I, I can't do anything with this. Alright, has? Can you- We'll never do construction. Nakiri, help me out, please! Please, before I- Oh, nice! Alright, well, we moved Courtney into a real grave. Not that it's the one that I wanted, but regardless, now she's got a real grave, so... At least that's done. And then, let's kind of make sure I get these things done right now while I'm thinking about it. Come over here, paste the settings. Beautiful. Come over here, paste the settings. Nakiri, come up there and do this. Unfortunately, these are going to look hideous because the tombstone goes behind everything. But there we go. The improved graveyard, friends. Mental break compulsion on me experiencing ac uh, acute pain. Disturb sleet on Tremaine. All right, guys. It's time. It is time. It's time to start building like the wind. Let's make sure that Patrick's going to work um, almost exclusively on tailoring. We're going to put him on a three so he doesn't even do growing or like anything. Uh, as far as construction here, he's got a number of things to construct, though. You know what? Let's actually bump this up to a two. Other than remove roofs and build roofs, we want him doing uh, tailoring to get to the point where everyone has a pack so we can actually handle carrying stuff. Everyone's supposed to have a pack by default in this mod, so the fact that we didn't have that uh, all along is unfortunate. But here's my planning. Boom! I love this mod, by the way. Let's turn the um, default down here to 25%. So this is going to be the first thing I do. I'm going to kind of base it on... Oh, wow, this is actually kind of a mess there, to be honest. But here's kind of, you can see, this is like a crossroad, which I may actually delete from, um, I think what I'm going to do is delete this, and then we're going to actually rotate the tavern later, and we'll make it come straight down through here. Uh, and then that way I can have, this is all going to be just paved road, like one giant road, all these buildings are going to get bulldozed. But first, got to get this thing in here. We're just going to go for regular palisades for now, and they're going to come down to at least... How do people get into these rooms? This was supposed to be my little fort that faces out there. This is where the new street's gonna be, so we'll do something like that. So I th think I had designed this in such a way that these were gonna be palisades inside, or they were gonna be palisade pylons, but those are pretty expensive. Now I think we'll just do regular palisades for now. So and this is gonna be like a triple defensive area uh, where people can come in and shoot into the street, they can shoot into the open, and they can shoot to the north. And so what we need here, then, is embrasures along this area, that area, and this area. Fantastic. We probably need some doors in here. I do have some 1x2s, so we'll throw that in. And then I think I'll just do the regular wooden door. Where is the one by? Well, it's, it's over here, one by one. We'll put that here, that, that are beautiful. Now, all this green is supposed to be actually security uh, of the barbed wire variety. I have two layers of it, so we'll do that. We'll throw it in right along this area. So now we have some kind of defenses along the corner, and that's looking fairly decent. Fairly decent. I don't necessarily need this wall here at all. All this black stuff is supposed to be dirt paths eventually. For now, we're going to leave that alone. Uh, up here, however, is where we finally get on to building the real stuff. The real stuff. Now, all the embrasures are going to face the main street, and then if people kind of come into these back alleys, then, well, I guess they're going to be in there doing whatever it is they want to do. So we've got one little bedroom over here. Mental break, hide in room, Shug. Shug, you're still in a little bit of pain? That's all right. I'm not going to worry about it. This is just going to be one little bedroom. I think that's fine. I'm going to have a regular door here. I may want a steel door because this is facing the uh, the street, and that's an embrasure, so we'll do that there. Now, I don't have a door over here, but there was supposed to be an embrasure there. So, you know what? Maybe I'll have the only way in there is through this little thing over here, which would be fine by me. So let's come over here and put in a wooden door right there. I have a wooden door here, 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 here. Uh, that one actually faces up into a different part of the street, so we'll do that. Another door over there. Fantastic. Here's another door. 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 Lots of little rooms going up here. Let's do some walls now. Uh, let's see. All the green things are... If they're not barbed wire, which is outside. By the way, that has to be embrasures. I think actually that whole thing needs to be embrasures, except for this, but the rest of it's embrasures. Yeah. Look at the sound. Look at the sounds, guys. By which I mean, use your ears. And you will hear the glorious splendor of progress in the wild western town. 
This is kind of an awkward thing. What the heck was I doing here? Oh, you know what? These can be corners now. I didn't have the corner mod. I didn't realize the corner mod was a thing while I was design designing this, so maybe I'll do that in a little bit. Let's go back, though, and put in the rest of these walls before I forget about it. I really need some bedrooms before anything else. It's like my number one priority. Uh, this is just a regular wall, so yeah, we'll do that. Great. And then I'll, I'll look into the corners in, in a second. I'm not exactly sure how they work, so we'll deal with those. Nope, wrong button. Wood. All wooden embrasures here. No more sandstone for the regular buildings. Maybe for an armory? Which, by the way, I have uh, an idea for where that's going to be and what it's going to do. For now, though, let's deconstruct this entire row of stuff. Yep, get it out of there. Beautiful. Get this out and get that door out. We're going to probably, thinking about it now, I might need a door to come out here. Actually, yeah, I probably do. I guess we'll put one in. Let's actually cancel this guy here and throw a wooden door there for now. Okay, well, that's quite a bit of work. Quite a bit of work. Now, the research bench was supposed to be over here for somebody. I guess we can move that. But you know what? Until this really gets done, I think, um, why don't I throw in the dirt floor? Nah, I think I should just leave it and let these guys do stuff and then kind of watch what's going on. We'll just take that out and watch the progress. Look at Patrick over here making satchels. He's got a satchel himself. A satchel toting satchel. Oh, my aminals! Ah, I forgot about it. Stupid aminals, get out of there. The polar bear in my room all stuck. All stuck. What does the polar bear eat? I think he can eat all kinds of stuff. I don't know if he can eat grasses, though. Let's go take a look really quick. He can indeed eat meals, liquor, kibble, seeds, animal products, vegetables, raw meat, corpses. Well... You know what? I think the polar bear is strong enough that we can just let him go roam wherever it is he wants to be. We'll unrestrict him. Yeah, wow, I made a dent in that corpse pile, huh? We really got that under control over here for putting those corpses in. <laughs> oh, silly, silly goose. All right, friends, get it done. 666 wood. Looks like I'm already super short on the wood. I collapse from extreme exhaustion. You know what I want to do is make sure... Ha I know the only person... Oh, actually, Torden and Haz, both of them, are trying to do... Uh, Taming and they don't have the space here, so the next satchel is gonna go to them. Wow, how long does these satchels take to make? Set why is Patrick working so slowly? He's a pretty good tailor. I don't know. Old gunshot. Manipulation. 70. I mean, I guess he's just an old guy, is all. Hard for him to, you know, move his hands around. Maybe what I should do then. Oh, Caranthia has a pack. Alright, let's do this. Let's take Caranthia's pack, who doesn't need it as much because I'm sick of seeing these messages. Uh, while I'm here. Where is that? Satchel? It's only 43, but we'll drop it. Patrick, same deal. Satchel, drop it. Beautiful. Has, if you wouldn't mind coming over here and... Why aren't these guys dropping their satchels? All right, Has, come over here and... For... The 13% satchel. And then the other one was Torden, I think. So, Torden, come over here and forswear the satchel. Beautiful. We're going to have to clear, clear those off later. In fact, I think I can clear them off now. As far as... No, it's forced. Well, I could clear it somehow. I think it's over here in medical... Restrict. Um, oh, hey, all these guys aren't fighting. Stixy, welcome to the fight. Akiri, welcome to the fight. Oh, yeah, Patrick can't fight. Anaria, welcome to the fight. Meanwhile, there is a forest button. Where the heck is it? Torden? Okay, right, this is it right there. Forced apparel satchel. I think if I drop this... Does this drop the satchel? Oops, I clicked on the wrong person. Torden? No, it doesn't drop it. It just clears it. All right, that's what I wanted to do then, so... Sign, same deal on Sh I don't know what Shug has. Cloth, long coat. Well, he is the recruiter, so... You know what? We'll clear it off, though. Has, you're wearing the satchel. Cinnamon. Wow, your forced apparel is pretty much everything, but you look so good, we're gonna leave it like that. And me, mine's superior long coat and stable hand trousers. I'm actually okay with that. Listen to the sound of progress! The sound... Look at me sleeping right there. I got no place to sleep, guys. Not even the smallest of beds. Not even the smallest of beds. One thing I probably want to do, just for the sake... I'm not going to have the wood. We're already down to 95 wood? How? How did this happen? Okay, let's come out here and immediately go for chopping all the... Oh, whoops. Let's actually cancel all that in the forest. Unless we need it. This should take care of itself automatically. How, how grown are they? 97. 96. Okay. This is going to take a lot longer than I realized. A lot longer than I realized. 
because yeah, we're going through this stuff like crazy fast. I'm gonna have to move all of these things up here as well. Uh, let's just grab all these trees. Anywhere there's a tree, chop it, beautiful. All of these stones, we're probably gonna wanna haul those eventually. Every single stone, haul them up, get them out of the way. These things in there, get those guys hauled as well. All this stuff, haul it, haul it, haul it, haul it for days. Uh, this thing here, we can select similar to that whole stuff and deconstruct. This stuff over here, we can mine, but you know what? That won't even take that long, to be honest. Let's right-click mine connected ores. Doesn't it want more ore tiles using this command? Hello, I just did. What are you talking about? Mine connected ores. Uh, whatever, I guess. I don't know. Don't work, but there. That'll take care of it. That'll clear up our lines of sight for sure. And let's make sure we're hauling all of this stuff. Now, when raids spawn right here, it's going to be crazy. But I'm looking forward to the craziness. Absolutely looking forward to it. Patrick's taking way too long here. One of these rooms is actually supposed to be the Taylor room, but I kind of forget which one. Another thing I'm going to need is beds pretty quickly. I think I might make sandstone beds for the purposes of we don't have any wood anymore. So let's do that. If I can't find some... What are these called? Furniture. Yeah, beds. Let's get... Um... You know, there's actually new beds I can get, I think. If I were to do the research, we're almost done here. We got five more research to go. Why don't I just wait for that and we'll go to the uh, the new Rim Kia research before I make the new bets. Nice! Torden and Bobaloo here ripping down all that wood. That's what we needed to see. All this stuff get you out of there so you can get hauled wherever it is you need to go. Nice! Here comes a satchel from Patrick. I think. Yep. Satchel. Okay, bolt capacity plus 30. Now, I don't know exactly what that means, but let's go take a look at Haz, for instance, because he's always super low. His bulk is 50, and that's with the satchel. So what's happening, I think, yeah, plus 30. Wow, so he had a 20 before and now, yeah, you really need these. They bring your bulk from 20 to 50, like, that is huge. That is really huge. Look, guys, stuff is coming along. I like it. I absolutely like it. One thing I do want to do, though, is let's deconstruct this entire thing of palisades here. We no longer need those. We'll get that wood and put it somewhere else. We're down to 22 wood, unfortunately. On the plus note, we got food for days. That's taken care of. Bricks are being made all the live long night. Satchels are being crafted. Cinnamon is lacking a treatment for, I don't know what, either um, minor carcinoma or brain, but either way. Either way. Look at this little deep. I like this cactus here too. I might leave that guy. And I might actually make some of these pylons a little bit later, but the problem is those are 15 wood versus the regular palisades, which are six. So we're going to leave it as it is for now. Nice. And Naria's taking this stuff down. Bob's helping out with the uh, mad aminals. Some sort of psychic wave boomalopes. Oh boy. All right. This actually. Look at all the blood down here. Are there more boomalopes on the map? No, it's just those guys. Do you guys think that Cinnamon could kill all the boomalopes before they get into town? If they do, please buy a shirt. All right. Here we go. Cinnamon, fire! You got this. You got this. Okay, that's 0 for 2. 0 for 3. 0 for 4. Come on, Cinnamon. Please, sales. Sales! Oh my lord, she's only hit once. Oh my god, no! Nice! That's true. Come on, Cinnamon. One shot! Yes! All right. Well, actually, this one's going to be dead soon. Come on, Cinnamon. You got this. You got this. Reload. Oh, Corinthia, no! What are you doing? Cinnamon got burned. Cinnamon got burned. Corinthia, don't, don't arrest Cinnamon. Put her, put her fire out, you doofus. No, what are you doing? Oh, no. Also, a little deer got caught in the, the maelstrom there as well. Let me think about this for a second. How I, Why can't I put Cinnamon's fire out? Sage. There we go. Fight fire. Caranthia probably will never do firefighting. If I read it, we'll never do firefighting. Yes. All right. By the time Sage gets down... Oh, never mind. Cinnamon took care of it. Cinnamon's all right. She just got a few burns. Although, she gets a... Um, uh, what's it called? I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Infection. That would be bad. Let's have her come up here and get... Uh, those burns generally do tend to get infected, too. So, let's have her go rest. Woo! All right. All right. I like that a lot. I would prefer if you guys would come save these corpses. Because I, I would really like... Ah, eh, never mind. They're all gone. Well, she almost did it, and she got burns for her, um... For her efforts, unfortunately. But it was pretty cool there. She knocked... She got three... With, with nine rounds, she took down three. Tending to Cinnamon Sage, thank you. Definitely tend to Cinnamon God. She can't die. Absolutely can't die. Five burns, and they all got tended to relatively poorly. 
Visitors have arrived. No, sorry. We don't have any we don't have enough bedrooms for ourselves yet, so we're gonna have to put that on hold for a little while. Let's get back to at least finishing up this area over here, at least planning it in. Uh, turn the planning on. Let's go over here to the walls. Now I want to try to figure out these corners. I think oh you can rotate them. Oh cool. So I could do like I don't know exactly how this is gonna work. L I'm gonna I'm just gonna do that, and I suppose we'll see, right? And then uh, for the rest of this, let's come down here. I'll throw on the rest of this little area like that. Beautiful. I want to get some rooms going pretty soon, uh, as far as beds are concerned. And I think we're all right on that for now. So let's turn that off. Let's speed up a bit. And bed of the sandstone variety. Now, I could put it in there, but I actually want to have that be like a nice little fire stove. So I think we'll put a bed here. Um, here would be a nice little place for a bed, I think. And we gotta put a fire over there. Looks good to me. Here's like a really tiny little cubby room. I think we'll have a bed there. Same kind of deal over there. We'll link that a little bit. What's going- Oh no! Disease infection on cinnamon! Why? I told you, those burns, they get infected so fast, it's insane. Who's working on doctoring? Yotter, our best doctor. Cinnamon, do you have any, like, lower blood filtration? No, you're fine. So you'll, you'll be okay, I think. We'll get it taken care of. We'll get it taken care of. 68% tend there. I think she'll be fine. Psychic drone, every cause of the f of the male gender winces in pain. Mental break, antisocial, onanaria. She's very tired. Why is- well, yeah, I guess she's not getting very good sleep because everyone's sleeping outside. That was kind of one of the big things I wanted to get dealt with right now. So this is actually going to be a bedroom here. This is, I think, going to be like the tailor shop. And I think he, um, Patrick's going to sleep right here and he's going to have his little shop here. You can walk through the, uh, the alleyway once we get these buildings ripped out. I think we can put another, um... Where do I want to put this, actually? Maybe over here? No, here? I'm not sure. Here? Here? Maybe up over there, maybe? A little bit of space on the left side, I suppose. And then, let me see my house. What the heck's going on? Roof? Oh, God! Where was there a roof that collapsed? I didn't know there were roofs there, but it looks fine to me. By the way, why are these corners totally the opposite of what I wanted? Mental break days on cinnamon, acute pain. But she'll be alright, though. What the heck's happening here? I'm confused. I'm confused and alused. Hey, speaking of, I no longer need this and- What did I just deconstruct? This thing? No, let's cancel that. Uh, we need to come over here and go for... Deconstructing of this wall. Yes, because we need to get our prison in there. By the way, guys, I got the new prison. Yeah, I'll just talk you through it, because why not? Take a look. So, behind the prison now, it's gonna be like the- the warden's... Bedroom, because that's gonna be his bed, little fireplace next to him. Uh, I think this is going to be pretty good. Another random room out here. And then across the street's actually going to be the armory. And then in through the armory, like out here in this super safe bunker, we're going to put in some stone walls there. We'll store all the ammo in this area. And this will be where we make the munitions and whatnot with the workbenches at these green locations. Uh, the infirmary is actually going to be down here, but we can't deal with that until later. And I think that's probably enough for now. Probably enough. What was I doing down here? Oh, this is going to be some kind of shop where I display stuff, I think. So green was going to be, yeah, this is like the crafting shop, the general crafter, I think. Bedrooms and whatnot over there. This is actually not supposed to be there. Let's actually cancel that because this is going to be a um, a research bench. So I suppose we'll put that bed over there then. Oh, we got a nice little cactus in there. That has to get out. See you later, cactus. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Now, how close are we to getting this done? We have zero wood at present, so that's kind of a concern. Well, let's see if I can't find some more wood. Chop wood? Or is that supposed to be harvest? I can't remember. Is it? I think it's chop wood, yeah. Are there any, like, casual trees that have grown back that we can just strip out of the map? Nope, not really. Got a few of them up there. I think we've actually chopped every tree on the map. Except for, of course, the ones that are growing. So we may just need to be a little bit more paced with this. Cinnamon, how's your infection doing? As you wander around in, in pain, anxiety managed. Well, her anxiety is managed. Why isn't Shug's? Infection minor, 24, 36. We're way ahead of the game. Shug, you're- Oh! She, yes! Shug's anxiety has finally been managed. He can do recruiting now that there's no more recruiting to do. Anatara keeps collapsing from extreme exhaustion, which is no good. Although, I don't know why, because she can come up here with pockets. Maybe she's going on mental breaks or something like that. Uh, that would make some sense if it were the case. Can we look at the, the social log here? No. I don't know. Maybe she doesn't want to sleep with pockets. Maybe it was all a ruse to get her out of the uh, the prison room. Very well could have been, to be honest. This this room over here is nearly complete, so... Oh, what the heck? Nicotine bench. That is so scary. 
Nimble's binging on nicotine. By the way, why is no one doing research? It's because Cinnamon's supposed to do it and she's just going around like crazy. Going around like a crazy. All right. Maybe someone else can do it then. I think I had one other person who was really good at it. Nine, ten, eleven. No, seven. I'm oh, sorry. Skill ten, priority seven. I'm too excited this episode. I think we want to get Nimble doing this. Um, above construction just for a little while. Above cleaning. Let's just put a temporary two just so I can get my new um, Rim, Rim Kia Rustic Furniture Series. Like suddenly this game, it's like I was all about the difficulty for 29 episodes. And now it's like, yay, happy fun playtime dollhouse. Mad animal. A local ostrich has gone mad. Well, Tremaine. Would you, oh god, the ostrich is coming in, Adario, wake up! But, uh, wow, okay, we're good. Yep, that's what bird shot's for, guys. Killing birds. Killing birds. Nice, Shug held out a little bit there as well. I can't believe Shug's anxiety is finally managed. I guess he just wanted to be a peaceful builder this whole game, and we just never let him. And now that we have, he's super excited. It's fine by me. Let's haul this thing up over here as well. Uh, probably all of these guys haul. I gotta make some clear lines of fire for when they do come in and, and we're gonna they're gonna attack our fort. This is a little bit wonky. I actually really want to redo these with some of the palisade blocks, but I can't. Uh, I just don't have the wood right now, so this will have to suffice. It will have to suffice. Ooh, you guys hear that brewing? <clears throat> Cinnamon, how are you doing up here? Your infection 5765 and you're going to rest, all right? Hopefully someone takes care of that almost instantaneously. Looks like he has is coming to take care of it. Immunity 70, infection 62. Should be good. Tending 77. Yep, nice, nice, nice. Very nice. Anaria has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. I guess she just doesn't have a bed. Yes, we finished the old Western apparel, friends. It's time for some Rimkia Rustica. The Rustica line. We'll put that in and hopefully get that done. The episode's actually kind of over, but you know what? In the honor of the great, like, Cinnamon Burnathon, let's do a longer episode. To actually, I kind of need to get the episode out in two hours, but we'll do a 15-minute longer episode. Just get some stuff built. This didn't work out at all. What the hell did I do? <laughs> um, let me try again, shall we? It's the first time I've ever used this corner mod. Okay, so what did I... I think I did... This is what I thought I was trying to do. But maybe I did the wrong ones. Okay, so I think what you do is something like this. And you put a regular wall in between. Let me make sure I'm doing this according to the plan here. Not necessarily, but probably close enough. So I think I would have to do that. Yes, that's going to connect them, maybe. Well, I don't know. Either way, we'll do the... Oh! Oh! Oh, they rotate! Okay. Super cool. That's a nice little mod. I like that. Nice. Roof's coming in now. Fantastic. We need to finish up this thing right here, though. Let's build a copy right there. And you know what? We're having all those sandstone beds I was talking about. Let's build a copy of one of those in here, because I don't have one there. Does every one of these things have a bedroom or a bed in it? Yes, it does, except for this one up here. I suppose we'll put that right here. Uh, over there, I was just thinking of putting a little flower pot. Now, I've got ideas. So I'm going to put some, like, stoves and whatnot in these corners, some of them. Seems like a nice little place for it. just, you know, asymmetry. It's all, that's what it's all about. Some nice dirt paths coming in through here eventually. But it probably looks terrible uh, with the planning mode on, so we'll leave it off. How much more wood do I need to get this done? I got 69 blueprints times 5, so that's actually a few hundred wood. That's not too bad. How many woods do we have down here? 95%. Nikiri's actually working on... Why would you harvest random agave? What the heck? Poplar tree growth rate zero. What a weird thing to do. 98%. Okay, these are at 62%. That's at 72. This is going to be a process, but it's not going to be that bad of a process. We definitely expanded the base, though. I just, boom. Huge base expansion. And then the next set of buildings. I suppose I could do this one, but I might want to actually move the wall up here. Nah. Thing is, I need a defensive structure up here. Um, I do have a plan for that, as you can see. So, the idea was, I'll turn the opacity up since it's dark at nighttime, but the main road comes up through here. This is all going to be open, so I imagine that's not kind of like a fence there, but we will fence it off here, I think. Or maybe connect these two right there. 
Uh, and then we have a corner fort where people come in from all directions. This is supposed to hold off from the northwest. Another little fort over here overlooking the water. We'll have to move all these trees at some point. And then I got like a nice little path out there. And some more bedrooms here. This is, I have one bedroom designed for every single colonist. Uh, they just need to get time to get them all done. This looks a little bit more organic. I kind of like it. I wonder if we should put like a little rose. Let's give Courtney a rose. I think she deserves a rose. Theater, you can have a little rose right next to your headstone, Courtney. Once it's built. Oh, you know what? It actually takes wood. Never mind. Um, what kind of bricks do we have? We have some sandstone, but I think granite. Well, granite's kind of insane. We should do marble. Granite's better for uh, defensive here. Marble. Marble plant right next to Courtney. We'll put in a rose there, I think. Once we get around to it. Alright, now of course the problem is we don't have any wood so we're not cooking anything and we're down to 35. What the heck is this? Three. Honeycomb W Queen. A honeycomb with a living queen bee. You can place it inside a bee house and she will build up her beehive. You only have a limited time to build a hive for your queen or she'll vanish. The queen will die if the outside temperature is too cold or too hot. <clears throat> Well, what the heck? All right, I had no idea I had those or where they came from, but I guess we need to deal with that pretty soon here. I think I might have gone overboard on the building. I thought I had more wood than I did. And I blew kind of a lot of it on random stuff. Yeah, I got people... Okay, let's see what's going on here. Let's just watch the colony. So, Nakiri's harvesting... Why are we harvesting? Did I queue up this somehow? We're getting a guy... Oh, what the... Where did all these things come from? There's hundreds of these honeycomb with queen. They're everywhere. What the? How did they get in here? Why are we harvesting random berries everywhere? And like all this agave. Is everyone just running? Yeah, what the? Oh, these are hollow trees, which is where the honeycomb's coming from. And when I did all those cues to chop wood, I must have done harvest on some of them. Because apparently people are running everywhere or doing like a ton of things I don't want them to be doing. Whoopsie daisy. Of course I click the wrong button and waste like half the episode of people running around getting six agave. <laughs> oh no. So many honeycombs, they're everywhere. Ah. Uh, they're everywhere. Look at this, they're all over the map. Agave is everywhere as well. Dogs, what are you doing? Oh my lord, there's a ton of them down there. I think I might have like, oh my, look how many honeycombs. What do we do with these? Can we eat them or anything? Remaining time, 0.3 hours, deteriorating, doing to be, no, no, no visitors. Sorry, friends, we don't have any rooms yet. Okay, it's gone. Oh, look at this, honey. Oh, cool, but why is it forbidden out of the gate? What? I must have really, no, because I did not tell them to go queue up work orders over here, I don't think. Maybe I did. What is this? No, there's, there's honey everywhere. I didn't do this, guys. I don't think I did. Did I? What the hell's going on? So that's why nothing's getting done, because everyone's just, like, cutting honeycombs and whatnot. Mm. Cinnamon got immunity. Great. Mental break. Antisocial. And Torden, because he was insulted. Torden, who insulted you? You're the master of insults yourself. Sounds, sounds legitimate. People be insulting you in retribution, but apparently you can't handle it or whatever. A queen bee vanished. Oh, interesting. Uh, exchange pleasantries with Sage. Had, who even insulted you, Jordan? You're like, he's like such a wimp. He's like a social wimp. He goes around insulting people who are visitors, but then when someone in the columns insults him, he's like, Maha! Mental break, I can't handle. He doesn't really like anyone except for Nikiri. A queen bee vanished. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of notifications for that, because for some reason we're doing all of that stuff. But let's just speed up here a little bit. And let things go until we get some more stuff done. Verbal abuse now on Gogs. Why is she enraged? No! I thought this episode was going to be fantastic. And look what happened. Like, we haven't even begun to get any progress. I just put down a bunch of messes. We don't even have doors and I haven't even finished my walls. If we get raided again, we're kind of screwed. Also, the polar bears is wandering around. Gogs, what's your problem now? What are you doing? Why are you chasing Caranthia down the street? Resurrection psychosis early. Uh... Don't know what that means, but it doesn't seem to be affecting anything, so... What's over here on Gogs' social tab? Slighted Caranthia. Insulted Caranthia. 
Dogs, why you wear it? Look at it. She's so happy about this. She's just running around. She's like, she pulled her bandit scarf down just low enough that we could see how happy she is about insulting the whole universe. Exchange pleasantries with sugar. What, 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 what's even the problem, Gogs? You got no problem. Why are you on a mental break? It must, you not, literally not one problem, except for worn on apparel, which we're working on. Hey, look, an alpaca's eating some hay. That's working out for us. All right, well, aside from the fact that I harvested like 10 million honey by mistake, can I actually zoom out, select similar everywhere on the map, unforbid, just keep selecting similar, make sure we're unforbidded there. Okay, I think all these things are going to die, and I'm going to have, like, a ton of honey we've got to haul in. It's not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. Whoa, Cinnamon started a social fight with Gogs! Yes! Yes! Gogs is walking down the street. She's like, get the hell out of here, you stupid doofus. And Cinnamon's like, oh. <laughs> well, I mean, at least Cinnamon stood her ground. But the thing is, look at her. Look at her. She's got, like, five bruises. Her lung has, like, a... Sh Both of her lungs have, like, buckshot pellets lodged in them, in including, like... That would be amazing if the buckshot pellet, like, shot the cancer out of her lung. I wish that was a mechanic that could happen. Oh, poor Cinnamon. She got beaten up so quickly. Guys, buy a shirt and support Cinnamon's recovery. <laughs> I really want my shirt thing to succeed. I spent so much time on it. In any event... What do we got going on here? Queen Bee has vanished. I'm apparently just smoking in the... <laughs> that sounds right. Bold old me with no hat. Just smoking in the uh, the tavern alone all night long. Hey, speaking of, do we ever get this thing made? No, not even close. We did get the resources there, but... I think there's too many people queued up to do too many things to really get this thing put together. Nik Nikiri is just harvesting random agave, apparently. She just did that huge trek for a single agave. That's not ideal in the slightest. How are these things doing as far as remaining time? 5.5 hours for these honey things? Yeah, they're all going to be dead for sure. They appear to take up one one slot each. Whoa, I saw one idle colonist. It was me, but I think it's just because I was done smoking for a little while. Major breakers on Bobaloo. Bobaloo, what's the problem? Moderate amount of pain, disturbed sleep, wearing tight apparel, ugly environment, slept in the heat, feeling bad. My friend Gogs died, but Gogs is alive, Bobaloo. She's back. Hold on. Is she your friend, though? Is this new... Do we not have any meals? Babalu, why are you eating ba I guess batteries don't give you a penalty, so it's fine. But... Um, social. Friend of Gogs, yes! Alright, there. Apparently they maintained their friendship. That or- well, actually, Babalu likes Gogs, but Gogs doesn't apparently care. Like, at all about Babalu. In fact, Gogs doesn't really care about anybody. I wonder if her things got wiped out when she got resurrected. Like, she just didn't remember who anyone was. Exchange pleasantries, yeah, not so much. Not so much. All right, guys, let's get this stuff done. Another huge harvest of rice here, which is great. However, we're down to 22 meals, and I have yet to actually get any wood in my stove because we've been using it everywhere else, so that's not good. But here comes some wood. Wow. Five people came down to chop one tree, huh? <laughs> that's very efficient. Very efficient. Yotter, what are you doing? Only you nice. Wait, no, not the stove furnace. Come over, cannot refuel. You have wood, Yotto. Let's actually pause this for two seconds. Unpause. Come over here. Refuel the stove so we can cook. That's what we want. There. Nice. And then we can get all this stuff going and get our meals back up and at them. Recruit chance. 2.2%. Laughlin. Laughlin, who are you? Cooking four. Well, that's fantastic. End your fast walker miner. All right. Woo, look at this. What the, there's like seven people out here in the fields. Well, the fields get done pretty quick, if nothing else. How did we already run this thing out of fuel? That was like one second of cooking. We're down to 16 meals here. Please no problems with cooking, guys. Please no. Please no. Let's come over here uh, once again. Zone order orders. Chop wood. Mark trees to be chopped down for wood. Those trees. Okay, good. Someone come out here and deal with that. We're down to 16 meals. Nice. Okay, Yotter, almost immediately, you're hauling stove to the furnace. What I actually want you to do, alert, unalert, come over here to prioritize that stove. Beautiful. Now, I don't know how much wood you're bringing. Let's actually watch this time. Oh, whoops, you're actually on alert. Whoopsie daisy. All right, so sh sh Sage must have clicked too many times. Prioritize the stove. Good. Okay, now how much wood do we put in there? Only six. Well, it's more than none, so... 
I may need to temporarily turn off all these other stoves. So let's actually designate the power to those guys. They're just not... Um, we need to make sure all the all the fuel is going to the one where we're cooking. I wish you could designate a higher priority one for fueling. Um, then again, there is coal. I could be making coal at some point. I think you can actually burn wood to make coal, and that might be more efficient, but I'm not sure. Also, got a bunch of random honey all over the map. We still got a haul. This is just literally a bloodbath out here, and I'm not even sure why. What the heck is bleeding all over the map? I don't know. Poor Cinnamon. I wish she won that duel. It would have been amazing. In any event, I think that's about the end of the episode. We're getting some progress. Things are staying clean. Gogs is taking care of that. We had some social issues, of course. Um, we have yet to move out of this little place here and open it up to visitors. Or visitors, rather. A few people I don't think even have beds, but they will have beds soon. Sandstone blocks, 35, 35. We just need people who can construct these things. But it seems like, oh, my waistcoat has worn away to nothing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I've been wearing that waistcoat for a, a mighty long time then, don't you know? Also, why do I keep doing nothing all the time? I mean, if I look at my cell theater, I'm definitely set to construct. And there is stuff to construct. So I should be doing that. And now I'm going to sow the area. I think it's just a, a glitch where every time you smoke for a while, you wander around as part of the smoking. And it shows you as being idle when you're not. Sewing an area. No, I, I sewed one area and now I'm actually wandering. So I am not doing construction. Prioritize constructing the beds. So I can force myself to do it, but I'm not doing it by default. How oh, because quality builder. I'm not the best builder in town. Okay, let's grab all these beds. You know what? Turn off quality builder. Let's just have someone make them, even if it's uh, not the best person. It does make sense to have good ones, but we need them made. This is a great way to end the episode. Everyone gets a bed. Everyone gets, look at that, one, two, three, four, five people. Nice. Oh, that's a poor bed. Well, not the nicest. Tremaine failed while constructing a bed. Thanks, Tremaine. How's this one doing? Normal, okay? Normal, good. I'm the only one who made a poor bed. I mean, how the hell do you make a bed out of sandstone blocks? Imagine how unfun that would be. Can't blame me for that, I don't think. Okay, Patrick made a normal bed. Let's see here. Cloth waistcoat worn by Nimble deteriorated at nothing. We're actually getting to the point where we're, we're going to be naked soon. Torden's bed was awful. Take that, Torden. You insulting maniac. Your bed sucks. You're the worst bed maker in all the town. Way worse than me. Why did I get so much joy out of that? It makes no sense. Ignore roof area? What the hell is this? Um, This should not be a roof area. I don't know if that's going to actually get rem remove roof area. Let's take it out of there, maybe. Um, but otherwise, yeah, this should all get taken care of as it gets put together, which we need wood for. How's our... F we have no more fuel in our cooking place, but this one does, and we can cook with that, I suppose. Let's see how Tremaine's bed comes out. Eh, he just quit. He was done with it. He was done with it. I really wish I could get enough wood just to finish up these walls. Research. Yes! Rustica furniture. One of your colors found an old data stick. I don't think that's what we found. Full of ancient e magazines in the Wild West. Among the salvageable data is Rimkia Magazine issue 3522. This issue was a special edition. Portrayed various tribal furniture styles from assorted Rim worlds. All right. Well, now that we got that done, uh, I think the next thing I want to do, these are super fast and they'll just look cool. They don't really give you very much bonus. Um, what should I actually research, though? I need to find something here. Watchmaking, basic up top. I don't know if that would... That would actually might be good to get spectacles to see further. Fishing pier? Does that help us with fishing? I have no idea. Record player? That would be cool. Maybe we should do that. Nah, it's too much um, research for right now. Why don't we do prisoner containment? <clears throat> that seems like a good idea. Let's go check out this Rim Kia stuff really quick. Woo! Snore high animal bed. That's kind of cool. So it's like a patch thing on Haygraph. We can, at least I have multiple animal beds now. Stam rest chair. Look at that. Sits lab chair. Look at this little stool. That's cool looking. Miss Kanta rug. Wow. That's nice. Um, got another rug over here. We got the Flickfurt rug. Plant pot. Wow. That's a weird looking plant pot if ever I've seen one. Look at this lamp. What the heck is this? That's the weirdest looking lamp I've like ever, ever seen. Look at this weird looking couch. Holy, these are wild western things, guys. I guess. 
single bed. This is me. 50 wood. Double bed. That's 100 granite. Sandstone, granite, or marble. Wow, you can only make that out of bricks. This one, apparently, you can only make out of wood. And you can't change it either. Got the nice big pillow there if I want to put that in. Wooden tables. Okay, I can't build that. I got no wood. Fire steel fireplace. Lots of stuff. And, whoa, look at this little hay rug. Huh, that'd be so cool. Just throw it in the corner in some of the rooms. Well, all we need is wood, guys. All we need is wood. I've played this game for probably 600 hours, and 100% of 600 hours, I have been short on wood. If there is a toxic fallout, I swear to God, uninstall the game. That would be the worst nightmare that there ever could be. Uh, on the plus note, though, I think we do have a lot of uh, wood coming in from these things, and I think we did manage to harvest all the random, I don't know, honeys and whatnot. What a waste of time, though, going out there and doing all that stuff. I don't know if I messed that up or what. Someone, someone I'm sure, will let me know in the comments down below. But there we go. Everything is unforbidden as far as honey. Just gives people more, you know, opportunity to run out and waste some time. Always a good idea, I think. Our meals are up to 42. Our hay is getting very low. I think we actually have more animals than we can sustain there. As soon as I get one, two, three more things of walls in here and get this done, move everyone out into these beds, move... Uh, this back into colonist area, although I still need to make one, two, three, four, like seven more bedrooms. So actually, believe it or not, once these are done, I think this will be the overflow for people who don't have beds. And we still won't be able to accept prisoners. Then I got to bulldoze all of these rooms and get rid of all of those beds and move all that into the places they're supposed to go, which is going to be a nice little kitchen I got planned over here. Uh, I don't think I actually showed yet and a few other cool looking things, but progress is made. In any event... Don't forget, cinnamon shirts, they exist. They absolutely dootly exist. But until the future, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. <gasps> Everyone's playing poker! It's amazing! Yes! They all have double aces. Everyone's a cheat in this town! Everyone, who's surprised? Who's surprised? I think we want to get nimble doing this. Um, above construction just for a little while, above cleaning. Let's just put a temporary two just so I can get my new um, Rim, Rim Kia Rustic Furniture Series. Like suddenly this game, it's like I was all about the difficulty for 29 episodes and now it's like, yay, happy fun playtime dollhouse.